Have you ran out of squiggly toys to 3D print? Are you looking for more 3D modeling ideas? Or do you want to design your own 3D models without learning how to do Blender or ZBrush or even Tinkercad? Well, I have good news for you. I bring you a tool from a totally different world of hobby game development. I present you Kenny's Asset Forge. Asset Forge is a 3D game art tool by Kenny, linked down in the description. Its main goal is to help game developers create game assets without learning how to 3D model, giving them more time to develop their game. Asset Forge can be downloaded for around 20 US dollars. This is a one-time payment and it's yours forever with free updates. As of version 2.3, exporting to STL files was added which makes it compatible for 3D printing. Asset Forge has a pretty simple interface. You have your stage here, some 3D transformation buttons here, and your 3D model parts here. These 3D model parts are called blocks. These blocks are grouped into themes such as mech, aircraft, golf course, cars, castles, etc. Everything you need to make your next game character or game environments. We will use it for 3D printing though. Making a model is straightforward. Select the block, put it on the stage. Select another block, put it on the stage. Repeat the process until you have something that makes sense. Now, all there is to do is to export your creation either as a 2D game sprite or a 3D model. Of course I will export this as a 2D sprite ha ha ha. Click file menu and select export model. Now you can select what 3D format you can export this. We select 3D printing preset and we are done. Now we can go to our favorite slicer and slice it so the 3D printer can print it. I will be using my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon Combo to print all of these. We will be printing in multiple colors, so filament waste is inevitable. Check out my video on how to reduce filament waste, link below in the description. The model only has one color when it is exported as an STL, but we can always paint it on Bamboo Studio. I didn't show the footage, but support removal is a nightmare. Tree supports are hard to remove. And as you can see, there is color bleeding on the white parts. I will try again. I broke up the original model into pieces and exported them individually. Here, I am using the negative part functionality of Bamboo Studio. I also make sure that the hole tolerance is 0.15 millimeters for the parts to fit.
the results look much better, though I had to assemble it a little. The supports are way easier to remove now compared to my previous versions. It also finished 2 hours faster. And there you have it. A new 3D modeling software to make your next 3D prints. Kenny also has another 3D software called Kenny Shape. This is a voxel-based 3D modeling tool which also supports STL file export. If you like my video, and if you want more mesh and 3D modeling ideas, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.